In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Friends, we gather today to honor St. Thomas Aquinas, and as we do, we pause to call to mind our sins and ask for the Lord's forgiveness and peace. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made St. Thomas Aquinas outstanding in his zeal for holiness and his study of sacred doctrine, grant us, we pray, that we may understand what he taught and imitate what he accomplished. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, faith is the realization of what is hoped for and evidence of things not seen. Because of it, the ancients were well attested. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to a place that he was not knowing where he was to go. By faith, he sojourned in the promised land as in a foreign country, dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, heirs of the same promise. For he was looking forward to the city with foundations, whose architect and maker is God. By faith, he received power to generate, even though he was past the normal age, and Sarah herself was sterile. For he thought that the one who had made the promise was trustworthy. So it was, there came forth from one man, himself, as good as dead, descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and as countless as sands on the seashore. All these died in faith. They did not receive what had been promised, but saw it and greeted it from afar, and acknowledged themselves to be strangers and aliens on earth. For those who speak thus show that they are seeking a homeland. If they had been thinking of the land from which they had come, they would have the opportunity to return. But now they desire a better homeland, a heavenly one, Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. By faith, Abraham, when put to the test, offered up Isaac, and he had received the promise, was ready to offer his only son, of whom he had said, through Isaac, descendants shall bear your name. He reasoned that God was able to raise even from the dead, and he received Isaac back as a symbol. The word of God. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. Blessed, Blessed be, be the Lord, God the God of Israel. Israel. He has come, he to, has his come to his people. Blessed be the God of Israel. He has come to his people. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Blessed to the Lord. God, God of Israel, Israel. He, has he has come, come to his people. Through his only prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our sins, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. Blessed to be, be the Lord, Lord, the God, God of, Israel. of Israel. He has, he has come, come to, to his, his people. people. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham. 
He set us free from the bonds of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. Blessed Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has has come come to to his his people. people. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. On that day, as evening drew on, Jesus said to his disciples, let us cross to the other side. Leaving the crowd, they took Jesus with them in the boat just as he was, and other boats were with him. A violent squall came up, and waves were breaking over the boat so that it was already filling up. Jesus was in the stern, asleep on a cushion. They woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up, rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Quiet, be still. The wind ceased, and there was great calm. Then he asked them, Why are you terrified? Do you not yet have faith? They were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this whom even wind and sea obey? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Both our first reading today and our our gospel uh, invoke uh, faith. Jesus asks uh, the disciples in the boat, do you not yet have have faith? The letter to the Hebrews talks about the the individuals from the Old Testament who exemplify uh, having faith. Faith is is understood in the catechism to be both a grace, that is, we have to receive something in order to have faith, but it's also it's also a human act. It's, it's a free assent of, of conviction to what God has revealed. It's a yes from our end, a free, free assent. And in moments when we, we struggle to be faithful, um, it's important to, to, to ask ourselves um, of those two things, grace and, and, and the human act, um, what we think might be lacking in the moment. Right, we we know of evidence of the the New Testament where people beg God for for faith. Help me, help me in my unbelief. Right, give me something so that I may may say yes. And we also realize that uh, God is generous, and often the stumbling block is is us. We're the ones who who just aren't cooperating in the in the dance of faith. So uh, in moments when we're struggling to be faithful, uh, may you and I. Uh, reflect as to, to where the sort of the, the, the problem lies. And if it's, God, I need you to give me something, then let's ask for that. And if the issue is us, I'm the obstinate one, I'm the one who is refusing to budge here, uh, then ask God to help us give, give a yes. Uh, but at the end of the day, may we have confidence that the, the Lord is eager for us to have faith. Um, and uh, may that bring us solace today. Please stand for our intentions. We pray for the church, for Francis, our Pope, James, our Bishop, all clergy and religious, all laymen and women, that by our growth and holiness this day, we might draw others to the good news of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those in our RCA program that God will grant them the gift of faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We uh, pray uh, for those who have wandered away from life in the church, that uh, the Holy Spirit would stir within them again the, the, the supernatural virtue of faith, uh, that they might return to community and communion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
We uh, pray for those without faith. We ask that God will place in their midst strong witnesses of the goodness of God uh, to help prompt them to belief and assent in God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick, the hospitalized, the homebound, and those under hospice care. We ask that God would provide for their needs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died and those who will die today. In his mercy, may God forgive the sins of all the departed and welcome them to the joys of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray in a particular way this morning for Barney and Rose Marie McGuire. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Uh, Father, we ask that you uh, give us graces to help us be attentive to your will and be a faithful people. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed Thomas Aquinas, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness, and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in a new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of blessed Thomas Aquinas, that we may preserve an integrity of faith, the gift of faith, and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.